Well, fellas, I'm not going to bore you with all the details about the rumors about Halo coming out Monday, or at least Halo Infinite multiplayer. You can find that all over the internet. Just trust me when I tell you that there are a lot of people uh, from just fans to hints from people at Microsoft to journalists that are writing in Forbes and whatnot, that this could be a real thing. It may not be, but I give it 50-50 based on everything I've seen so far. Uh, and you can find all that information on your own. So let's, for the sake of this video, assume it's going to happen or it should happen, right? I'm, I'm a fan of the beta. I loved the beta. I thought it was a great, great time. Better than the Call of Duty multiplayer, better than the Battlefield. I think if you stack those three up, most people, I could be wrong, but I think most people would tell you uh, the Halo multiplayer beta was much more fun and much more solid. It just felt good. It felt really good to play that game. Well, here are the five reasons I think Microsoft should release this early. Uh, there's rumors that it'll be Monday, uh, this Monday for pre-order for a week, and then the week after it'll be the Game Pass people, just like what they did with Forts. All right, here's the reasons why. Number one, Monday's the 20th anniversary of Halo Combat Evolved. There's going to be a big show. I don't know if it's a video, if it's a live show. I don't know what it is. 10 a.m. California time Monday, where they're going to celebrate Master Chief, his birthday, Halo Combat Evolved launch. And there have been things that some Microsoft executives have said that have suggested that, hey, there's going to be a surprise there. Um, and it just makes the most sense. You've got all these eyeballs aimed at that video, aimed at that live event, whatever it is. And you, not that Halo Infinite Multiplayer needs a reason for the press to cover it. Uh, it, it, it. It existing is the reason alone. But just tying it to that, another surprise. It's, it's just a nice piece of PR if you can kind of surprise launch it. So I, that's, that's the least strong reason they should do it, but it can't hurt. You know, you can take what you can get and that ain't too fucking bad. Here's a stronger one though, okay? I think Forza, which is now at 7 million players in just a week, Xbox has said it is the strongest Xbox launch they have ever had. 7 million players in a week, okay? Uh, and they had about a million, a little over a million in the first couple days that were just pre-order. That were just fucking pre-order, right? So I think they understand that there is money to be made. They're seeing it with Forza. Yes, Game Pass is where they're going to get the lion's share of these players. But there's a lot of people that are excited with the reviews and the, and, and, and the people just wanting to play this game and get something new on the Xbox. And they're willing to cough up money. Well, I think in this case, especially given that Halo infinite multiplayer or even the campaign there's really if you order it pre-order it there's not much you get you know you can get some skins or this that or the other you can get a steel case if you get it from target or something but it's not like you know there's this great incentive to pre-order this thing well this would be one i could see a lot of people going you know what i was going to get it on game pass and i still am but fuck it, I'm buying this thing or I'm buying the expansion pack or whatever. It's like 59 bucks. So I think it's the whole thing uh, because I want to play it early. I want to play it a week early. And then the week after the 15th, which is Thanksgiving weekend, there are other evidence online that says, hey, they're rolling it into, I think it's like their, their first seasonal event. And that's those dates are on there. So it just, it, it seems like if you look at Forza, if you look at the sales that the great reviews of Forza created before it was even available on game pass this would be more of that and i could imagine they could expect that to be even stronger so if i'm sitting there and i can make a choice between do we want to launch it early it's done or do we want to wait and put it all on the eighth i'd be there'd be a pretty compelling reason it's like shit no fuck it let's there's there's money in them there hills that uh, we've we've learned about from ford so that we can make uh with that game pass inclusion of the week before let's fucking do it Here's another one, though. This is the strongest one that I'll tell you so far. Battlefield drops Friday. Call of Duty's already out, okay? This is a perfect storm, okay? Whatever you think of Battlefield and Call of Duty compared to Halo is, is kind of irrelevant. To have this game ready, and again, we have to assume it is good, the multiplayer, because I've played it, the press has played it, many of you have played it. The consensus is, wow, this is really fucking good, Okay? Um, let's assume that carries out through the whole uh, uh, multiplayer, not the campaign, the multiplayer. Well, what an amazing cock block, right? It's like, well, yeah, of course, Microsoft wants these games to sell, although we've been seeing that like Battlefield, uh, or they want Battlefield to sell, Call of Duty to sell on their system, but we've been seeing a number of games, not all, but a number of games don't tend to sell as well 
on Xbox hardware because there's the Game Pass factor. Well, suddenly Microsoft is like, yeah, yeah, you can go and spend 60, 70, 80 more, depending on the version you get on Battlefield, or you can do the same on Call of Duty. But by the way, we're out too. We're free, give or take. Uh, you know, and everybody's playing it because it's free. We have a larger player base. And chances are, from what I've read of other people's views of Call of Duty and Battlefield, most people aren't happy with those. Everybody who played this is happy with this. It seems like a great sense of walking into a store digitally or physically and going, oh my God, I, I get Game Pass now. It's like it's it's a perfect amplification of the value process, the, the, the value aspect of the Game Pass uh, experience. Oh, Battlefield, let me put it in my car. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, I can get Halo? Everybody's raving about Halo and it's 15 bucks and I get all these games? Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, let me try that. Let me try it for $3 or a dollar or whatever for the Game Pass. So I... I don't know, man. I, I think this is a it, it would be a really great way to peel off a lot of people from those other games that might already be invested in Battlefield and Call of Duty if you wait until December to get this out. Okay, number four, Black Friday, baby. Get this out before Black fucking Friday. Um, I know everybody's struggling to get themselves a, an Xbox or a PlayStation. I get it. But ultimately... Everything they get, they're going to sell. Um, and Game Pass can work on PC. It can work on Xbox One. Uh, it can work on Xbox S. Um, and so getting this out before Black Friday. Uh, Game Pass bundles, Game, pa Game Pass deals. The only thing that's really coming out in December at this point, it's not like they should save it because there's a big Sony game coming out December 10th and they need something to counter it. Sony's done putting out their shit for the year. The only things big coming out left really don't dig into this audience, right? It's Pokemon and Final Fantasy XIV Online, I think, are the only two big things left to go. But So you roll into Black Friday with the momentum, the tailwinds of Forza and now Halo multiplayer behind you, um, and you've got these great Game Pass deals. That, that, that becomes potentially very difficult for people buying gifts, uh, to pass up so uh i i i absolutely think that um you know or not even you know, let me do that again let me do that again because it's not just buying gifts it's people wanting these gifts if these games are out and people are like halo is amazing forks is amazing and it's on game pass suddenly people might be going okay i'll take the xbox series s that's easier to find versus going no no, no I'm, I'm waiting for a playstation right i'm just or i'll get a pc and i'll play it on that I think I think Black Friday is one of the main reasons. If they can get it out, they should. Finally, now this is a little cynical, but I'm going to tell it to you anyway. I think they know they have the goods with multiplayer. Unless something has gone terribly wrong with the rest of the multiplayer aspect of the game, it's good. It's and, and I'm a I'm a layperson shooter fan, and I'm telling you, it's good. It's not like. Um, you know, I mean, everybody I've talked to online that's played it, you can look at social media, you can read the media, the, like the proper media, everyone's like, wow, that was fucking awesome, right? Well, if you look at IGN and Game Informer, who are the only guys that have gotten hands-on with the campaign, four hours of the campaign, none of them are saying it's bad, none of them are saying, oh, eh, it's okay, but none of them are saying, oh my fucking God, this campaign is amazing. Watch out, Neil Druckmann, you know, watch out Sony Santa Monica, Microsoft's coming hard in the cinematic story-based character shooter, you know, genre. It's just like, hey, it plays a lot like classic Halo. This is great. We like it. And that's a preview. So you're probably looking, you know, if you asked them to rate the first four hours, they probably, from what I gather, would say about a seven. Well, the multiplayer, I think, is going to rate a lot higher. The last thing Microsoft wants is to have the multiplayer and the campaign if the campaign is like a seven coupled together given that the the multiplayer is probably like a nine nine and a half for a lot of people so if you decouple those and you launch them at different times you get for black friday you get four competing with battlefield you get rolling into december you get the story of forts is amazing halo is amazing if you're into psychonauts 2 people say that's amazing flight uh, microsoft flight sim is amazing Build, build, build. If you go in on the 8th and it's like Metacritic says Halo is a 7.5 because the 7 of the campaign brings it down, suddenly 
this, this, the message isn't as strong. But if you already got the message out there, it's like, yeah, the campaign's pretty good, but oh my God, all my friends are playing the multiplayer. So are they going to launch it early? Who the fuck knows? I, like I said, 50-50 is what I would say right now. Um, but let's put it this way. If they can, the motherfucking should. Um, not just because I want it, but because I think it would be really good business if it's uh, if it's ready. There you go. That's my take.